let's flip this dresser from the thrift store. Originally, it was $100, but they busted the base when they were loading it, so we ended up getting it for $80 instead. Either way, though, it was a steal of a deal. This piece is solid and such good quality. So before we could do anything else, we had to fix that base. I glued it and put it back together how it was. And then I made it more durable by screwing the base into the dresser instead of relying on the glue and the wood braces that were holding it together before. I used this mini pocket hole jig to drill new holes into the apron and then I screwed in the pocket hole screws. Since the wood that I was drilling into was 3 quarters inch thick, I just clamped the jig up to the edge of the wood, set the drill bit to the right depth, and then drilled away. This angle that I was drilling at was not the best though and I drilled some of the jig in the process. See those blue shavings? Anyways, it all still worked out fine. Then I used the one and a quarter inch screw to screw the base to the dresser. Now it is nice and sturdy. All right, then I got back to the normally scheduled programming. I removed the hardware with my handy dandy electric screwdriver, cleaned the dresser really well with crud cutter and an old rag, and then I filled in the chipped veneer and one hole from each piece of hardware so I could put new hardware on these drawers. While all of that dried, I got rid of the damaged finish on the top. I sanded it all down with 80 grit sandpaper, then 120 grit sandpaper, then 180 grit sandpaper, and I finished it off with 220 grit sandpaper. The wood was so pretty. And I honestly considered leaving it natural wood for a little bit, but I already had a plan and that plan did not include a natural wood top. By the time I was done sanding the top, the quick wood was dry, so I sanded that down. And then I sanded the base down to bare wood, and I folded a piece of 80 grit sandpaper in half to get into the crevices by hand. Then I started to scuff sand the rest of the dresser with 220 grit sandpaper, and I realized that there were still some dings and scratches that I needed to fill in. So I filled those in, and while I was at it, I spread a thinned out spackling over the areas that I had sanded down to bare wood so you wouldn't be able to see all of that wood grain after I painted it. So while that dried, my husband traded me off and taped off the drawers. And then he sanded basically everything again and cleaned it all up with the shop vac and the tack cloth. Then he sprayed two coats of bin shellac all over the dresser. I've got to tell you, the spray can version is definitely not cost effective at all. It took three cans and these cans are not cheap. And there still wasn't complete coverage, but we went with it anyway. and we let it dry overnight to give us the best stain blocking coverage that it could. It was super, super rough feeling when it was all dry, so we definitely had to sand it down and knock it all down to a nice smooth surface. Then I took this time to caulk some areas and fill in some small things that I couldn't see before the primer. All right, after all of that, it was time to actually paint. This time I used Melange's all-in-one paint, called One, in the color Knapsack. Is it green? Is it cream? Who knows? I was expecting it to be more cream, but I think it's a little bit more green. As always, I mixed up some water into the paint and then I sprayed on a coat of paint. I ended up with three coats of paint and I probably could have gotten away with just two, 
but I like to make more work for myself. So I did two coats and then I lightly sanded everything with a fine foam pad to make it all feel nice and smooth and then I sprayed one last coat. This spray doesn't need a top coat though so hey, I still saved myself a lot of time. All right, then I worked on the base. So I still had to repair the chipped wood. So I filled those areas with quick wood. And then I shaped it with a putty knife so then I wouldn't have to do as much sanding once it was dry. Then when it was dry, I sanded out smooth And then I put some thinned out orange paint and some brown paint on it to make it blend in better with the wood. It definitely was not perfect, but hey, it was a lot better than it was before. And then I wiped some whitewash onto the wood. When the whitewash was dry, like 10 minutes later, I experimented and mixed some of the knapsack paint and some light gray paint into the wax, and then I brushed it on to help protect the wood. But I also wanted to see if I could add a little bit more dimension to this whitewash and kind of maybe tone down that orange wood tone just a little bit more. I don't know if it really made much of a difference, but hey, I love the final look. Before I share what this dresser looks like now, please take a second to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps us out and we really appreciate the love. All right, here's what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. What do you think? I absolutely love it. It's pretty close to what I envisioned in my head Though the color choice is a little bit more green than I thought that it would be, but I love green, so I love this piece. That doesn't change anything for me. I thought about cutting the base and making it all straight instead of having all those curves, but I am so glad that I left it in its original shape. All right, that's it for me today. I will see you next week.